Hi, I'm Jeff Weisberger, and this is musicmoose.org. And we're here today to get people going on the fiddle here. We need more fiddle players out there, I can tell. So uh, I'm going to start out here with uh, uh, showing you basically how you would start some fiddle tunes. I call them potatoes. And uh, I'll show you basically first how you start uh, to do this. Is a potato is getting your rhythm started, so if somebody's playing guitar with you or accompanying you on another instrument, they'll realize the, the speed of the tune that you're starting out by your rhythm on the fiddle. So the potatoes are like this. They start out, you want to go with a start with a down bow. Down bow is always good and strong. You always want a good, strong start. So you start with a down bow, you go down, up, down, up. And then the next time you want to go up, down, up, down, the reverse. So it'll sound like this when you put them together, you go. Practice doing that, getting both strings to sing together. You, the violin is a good singing instrument. You want your notes to sing. Practice on the E and A, doing that, going. And then practice on the middle two strings, the A and the D. And now the G and the D. And so if you, when you start on the fiddle tune, it depends on how fast you start that. You can go... Or you can go... Depends on how fast you want to play something. But that will tell people how uh, the timing of the tune, the speed of the tune. Um, also, like, uh, I'd like to show you, like if you're playing D, in the key of D, and you're doing your potatoes like the A and the D together, like a... But you want it to be, maybe you say, sound a little bit higher, but you still want to be in the same key. So you play your first finger on the F sharp note, on the E string, and then you put your third finger on the D note, on the A string. And you play that double stop. So it would sound like this. Compared to this. And the same thing with G. If you're going G over here, you could play a higher G with a B note and a G note. That's another way of doing it. And uh, uh, also an A, if you want to play A, you can play a C sharp and an A on the D string. Sometimes you might want to slide into it like that. Like that. Those are some good intros to work with. Thank you. Bye.